Hi everyone, this is David, and I wanted to show you two advanced techniques that I think you can use to good effect on your audio. These come from my current grading of the audio clips that you have submitted for this week, and I think several of you can make good use of them. Okay, and so the clip is in. If I wanted to, I can click here, I can drag down and get an even fuller view of the waveform. The next thing I want to do is to cut out this excess here at the beginning so that whenever we do a preview, the preview gives us a lot of it. Okay, so here we are with our clip. Now the first thing I want you to do is to listen to it, and I'm not going to say anything else about it. Redbox is a leader in DVD rentals and has several key employee roles. Since Redbox is a provider of DVD rentals available to walk-up customers at locations throughout the U.S., we have physical assets that must work correctly for our customers. Okay, now I have two areas where I think this audio can be improved. Area number one is I think it's spoken too fast, which is unusual. Usually the problem is just the opposite. When you first start making these things, you tend to speak too slowly. Now, I think this is spoken more in the five to six words per second, four words per second, rather than the normal three that I wanted you to shoot for. And the second thing has to do with the tenseness in the speaker's vocal cords. I don't know whether it was because of how she was sitting or how she was breathing, but her vocal cords sound very tense. And as a result, that really bumps her voice up a, a register. So I want to do two things. I want to slow down her rate of speech without altering the pitch. And then I want to go in and bring down that tenseness, bring down that, that high level to a little bit more of a natural sounding voice. I know this student, and I know that's not her real voice. She was very tense when she recorded this. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go up here to Effect and pull down to Change Tempo. Now you see in this box that currently the clip is 44.63 seconds long. Okay, now we can make this slider go to the left and increase the length of the clip. Now we're at 48.5. We've increased it by almost four seconds. Let's listen to the preview. Redbox is a leader in DVD rentals and has several key employee roles. Since Redbox is a provider of DVD rentals, I think it could go even a little bit longer. I think we could slow her down a little bit more. Let's go to 10. Now we've increased it by 5 seconds. Let's take a listen. Redbox is a leader in DVD rentals and has several key employee roles. Since Redbox is a provider of DVD rentals available to walk up customers. To me, that sounds good. That sounds at about the right pace that we wanted it. So we have increased it by 5 seconds. We've slowed the speaker down by 5 seconds. Let's click OK and apply it. Now notice that the waveform has run off to the right, so we're going to go Control F, which means to fit it to the window. Now the second thing we want to address is pitch. So let's go to Effect and Change Pitch. Now you'll notice that this speaker currently is a speaker in the F key. And let's try bringing that down a little bit. Now this is a very sensitive tool. Let's bring it down by like four and see what we get. Redbox is a leader in DVD rentals and has several key employee roles. Since Redbox is a provider of DVD rentals... See, that to me, that sounds much more like this person's real voice. Let's try six. It's probably going to be too much. Redbox is a leader in DVD yeah. rentals and has several key employee roles. It's definitely dragging. So four, five is about where we want it to be. Let's go ahead and apply that. Now let's listen to our clip again with the tempo slowed down and the pitch also brought down. Redbox is a leader in DVD rentals and has several key employee roles. Since Redbox is a provider of DVD... Now compare that to the original. Let's go control Z a few times. Here's the original. 
Redbox is a leader in DVD rentals and has several key employees. And you can tell that there's a huge difference, especially in the tempo between what you just heard and what we polished it up to be. So those are two tools that I hope that you can use to help polish your audio.